They are can't fight. Someone's got to man the ship. So who's attacking us? Well, he's already here. Oh, it's the Master Pegasus. Now, what are they flying? Some monks. Uh, so, this is another Imperial vessel, not the Seagate, it seems. Pitiful force wouldn't improve Destonia's inferior army anyway. Okay, we can't let them get away. That's right, so we're going back to the main capital. Forgot about that, because we've got to stop. While well, the Emperor and everyone was attacking... Um, Aspinia for the Republic capital. These guys have gone to Destonia, it seems. Alright, and we've got a f already promoted Julian. Okay, I'm gonna say we wait here and let them come to us. Because I don't want to get. Hmm, I was gonna say I don't want to get. Stuck in a choke point, but I don't know if they're actually going to come towards us. Looks like they're going to try flanking. And what's this guy got? He's got aura. Oh, that's pretty useful. And holy light. No, sorry, aura and shining. Yes. How are you, Shining Force Three Ninety Eight? Glad you could tune in. That's it. That looks really powerful. And like I said, I have played this before, but it's been many years now, so... It's so cool being back again. Oh, these guys do some decent damage, too. Actually, let me check. What have I got equipped? Could be what I had in the old scenario, I think. Yeah, I've still got the knife on me if I need it. Oh, I've still got the freeze. Freeze orb as well. Alright, let's use the blade. Awesome battle theme too, isn't it? Alright, good level up. Let's see if we can draw them out a little bit still. Oh, actually, uh, is there anything on the deck? Like treasure chests or barrels? No. Okay. We can hold out a little bit. Uh, don't need to use that just yet. I'll have to keep an eye on his health. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll use Don Hort. He can do it. Oh, yeah? You think this has the best new songs? Oh, she doesn't have much range. She's got an old bow, obviously. Alright, let's go, Kate. I like her, um, her bow. It's very detailed. It looks like a compound bow. Or a recurve bow, I should say. But yeah, I was going to say, the other games had such awesome music as well. So if you think this is the best, it must be very good. Oh, 
actually, I'll just use this. Uh, no, they're not next to him yet. Okay, let's get the knife out. Oh wow, he does some good damage with that knife, actually. Julian's legit. I want to know what that means. If you know what that means, let me know. In Japanese, I mean. Because uh, in Virtual Fighter 2, Lao says the same thing when he wins a fight. But I'm not sure what he's actually saying. Oh, critical hit. Okay. Yeah, Don Holt's really strong. Let's use the freeze. No, it's not too much damage. It's enough. All right, big damage from Dong Hort. Can't reach him just yet. We'll sit tight. Oh, sorry. Um, it was Lao. Lao Chan. In Virtual Fighter 2, he says the same thing. Yolingua Toringua, or whatever he says. Actually, it's probably on virtualfighter.com. There might be a translation somewhere. Oh, is that it? Yes, killed him. Leveled up again. Nice work. All right, we got a we got our heavy hitter. Perfect. I'm drawing him out. Ooh, can I just use shiny? I don't know, it seems a bit overkill. Oh, look at that power pose. That was sick. Crossbreak. Oh, nice. So he's obviously got Tornado, and now he's got Crossbreak. Actually, I'll let uh, Kate finish him off. Here we go. This should do it. She's doing pretty big damage, actually. 25 per hit. Expecting to find the innovator Gracia aboard the flagship in its return. The Empire you intend to defend once you're dead. The Emperor aims to take both your life and the staff of Besson. So Dombrook's plans run a bit deeper. Hmm. <laughs> How was the battle? So we learnt in scenario two the Emperor was pulling the strings for most of this.
this is a really cool opening sequence. I do agree. What do you think, Julian? Do you think we should listen to the Bullseye Monk and forsake the Empire? I think we should listen to him. But I don't think we have to forsake the Empire yet. Though we suspect the Emperor plots against me, there is, as of yet, no way to prove it. Hmm, yeah, that's true. We are after the Vandals. First and foremost. I do like that this whole sequence is um, is done without music, just the sound of the waves. It's very nice. Uh, yes, I, I was very impressed actually, um, Shining Force 3. I did have a look at the State of Play video. My friend from work actually linked it to me um, as well. And I had a look and I'm um, yeah, pretty surprised. It looks awesome. I like that it's even got the black and white. Pardon me, the black and white and film grain to make it look like an old samurai movie. So a little further to Dystonia. I'll give you a shout when we get close. So until then, get some rest. But yeah, no, it looks really cool. Um, the gameplay looks like it takes a lot of elements from a lot of different games. So it's got bits of Assassin's Creed in terms of, you know, some of the combat and I think some of the stealth. But the open world looks like it takes some inspiration from Witcher 3, which is a fantastic game as well. Um, what else was there? There's something else it reminded me of. I can't think of it now, but there was, yeah, there was a few really cool, really cool features that it had. It looks like it's taking inspiration from a lot of other games and hopefully it can build on it. Yeah, the exploration looks really fun. A nice big map to explore, get on your horse. It looks very similar to Witcher 3 in terms of the exploration, I thought, especially. Alright, some small myth. Turn it down a little bit there. Hmm, well Major on something's gonna happen with him, obviously, because in the second scenario we learn we fight him. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be cool if you can do like a full ninja run or a full samurai run, etc. I'm interested to see more of the combat. It looks, it looks like it's simple, but I don't think that's like the main thrust of the gameplay. Uh, pardon the pun. So I think it'll be good. that I just found. Uh, maybe I'll give him that, because if I get another penguin bro, I'm going to be able to use it. Um, what's he got in there? Nothing, nothing useful, okay. And is there going to be a priest in here to save the game? Oh, and the Mafia, wow, look at all these boxes. The Mafia remake looks really cool as well. Um, and I think I was telling you, like, because you've been playing it and hearing about the remake, I really want to replay the original now, so I think I will. Huh, that's interesting, there's nothing in here, seemingly. But yeah, um, I think after I finish Shining Force 3, or maybe in between Shining Force 3, I'll um, play some of, the, some of the original Mafia on PC as well. Waiting isn't my cup of tea. Oh. Tides are fast today. Shouldn't be much further to Estonia. Oh, this must be the ending from Scenario 2.
Oh, I'd love to replay it again. It's been so long since I've played Mafia. And it's such a wonderful game. I'll definitely try and do that after... Like I said, either after this or... Like, in between. Maybe I'll do, like, Mafia on Monday nights and... Shining Force 3 on Sunday or something like that. Or just, you know, as I feel like it. I'm also worried I didn't get to explore the whole ship. But we're at Destonia now. That's good to know. Oh, this music is amazing. This whole opening sequence is so good. I think I, I think I mentioned last time, but um, it gives me some serious Shenmue vibes. Of, you know, leaving Japan and arriving in Hong Kong, and that feeling of an epic adventure and the story to continue. It's great. Oh, I love this music. Past the port of Destonia. Okay. I anticipate the bullseye sector of an ambush set up at the main dock, so I chose to dock here. I don't remember the ending to this game too much. I remember it ending with the with the Holy Ark, but that's about it. So I'll have to, to wait and see. But it must have been a cliffhanger, I'm guessing. Uh, here we go. I'll search the chair, because now I know that's a thing. This is going to say, out for tea. Go to shore to get supplies. Return before the ship sails. Uh, let's see. Do you have anything I could use? I actually wouldn't mind a couple of healing drops because... Oh, we've got plenty. I going to say, because Gracia's only got... Aura. Which can be a bit overkill. This is, I mean, like, in terms of, um... Story chronology... Hang on a second. I might have an important message. Give me one second.
All right, sorry about that. Hope you enjoyed the the ocean sounds. I just had to respond to that. All right, here's the church. Let's save the game. Oh, I can make a new one actually, yes. Uh, let's use cartridge. I'm going to use the facilities. I'll be back in a second. Alright, I'm back. Yes. Oh, you bought Warcraft 3? That's awesome. That's uh, an ITS game I haven't actually played. But I've heard really good things. I've always been an Age of Empires man myself. I still play Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition online quite a bit. Hmm. Streets are empty. Okay, so the port's dangerous, I'm hearing. Oh, and can I ask, um, how come you bought a physical copy? Is it... I heard that that Reforged isn't very good, or has a lot of issues. Hundred coins, that's not bad. Luck and Wind. I think luck's probably a bit of a rich term, but... Oh, the bright honey! Hmm... I'm gonna hang on to that for now, because I don't know... I'll wait and see who comes along, who can use that best. Covenant. Oh, I never played that. Unreal Tournament, awesome game. San Andreas, fun game. Have you played Vice City? Um, I only ask because I personally prefer Vice City to San Andreas, but they're both so good. Um, I like how you're doing it by year. That's really cool. And yeah, so Mafia was 2002. That's awesome. I was in year 10 of high school. Oh man, good times.
talk to the captain one more time. Father Scholar, the priest knows Bresby. I'm sure he'll offer you aid. Hmm. Oh, where does this go to? Tilfeather knows passage to the port of is prohibited. High Priest Goliath. Oh, that sucks. See, I hate, I hate that so much when they remove the original... Like, when they get rid of the original game and replace it with a new one, that sucks so much. Anyway, that's that's the worst kind of remake. When they do, like, reforged and you can't buy the original. That's why it's really cool that Age of Empires, you've got Definitive Edition. But HD Edition, which is basically the original game as it was, is still available. And yeah, physical copies is nice, especially if you really like the game. So they were lying in wait. We learned Prince Majoron's advisor, Bresby, was coming with an army to save the capital. We were curious what opponents he would bring for our enjoyment. These opponents are not up to our expectations. Oh wow, harsh. Yeah, the arrogance will be their downfall. If I don't call reinforcements, the victory should be secured. Shouldn't underestimate them, Julian. So we're going to fight the Walkery straight away with only, what, three dudes. It's going to be rough. Yeah, this scenario is, um, starts off quite quickly with the battles. Right, well, there's a few barrels to get as well here. Nothing looks like it's stopping progress, but still. Might as well take them out and see what's in them. Nothing in that one. Actually, let's just stand next to Don Hood because we got our bonus. And Julian levels up by punching a barrel. That's awesome. Okay. I'll definitely try and get all the barrels. Ooh, he took some damage. Oh, no. Is he gonna kill him? Oh, he's still alive, barely. Oh, hang in there. No. Should have given him the blade, not the knife. That's alright. Also, for the first time, we've started out with a um, an archer instead of a... Oh, nice counter. Wow, he did big damage. Gracia hits hard. 
I guess they started out with an archer instead of a magician. She's a pretty good archer though. Uh, he's got a bonus attack against monks, that would make sense. Look at the detail on his staff. That's really cool. He's got a unique model, obviously. I don't want to send him off by himself. Hmm. guy on his cargo fort standing at the top seven magic points is a lot to burn uh, here's a healing drop your favorite magic user is that milky is that her name milky or marky i think it was marky last time i played it Bridget. Don't remember Bridget, to be honest. Well, this will be the end of the Pegasus. Poked out of the sky. Oh, a drain is awesome. That steals hit points. Oh, it drains magic points? That's crazy. Oh, I do remember that now. Actually, I remember that. There was a spell that, yeah, didn't use any magic points and in fact actually stole them. That's crazy. Does Don have a, he doesn't have a spear. Might be worth giving him one, just for situations like that, where I want a bit of range. Good point, that would be useful against the rain bloods. Because some of them are pretty powerful magic users. Or even if not, it'd be useful just to to steal their magic points so you can keep on um, pelting them with the big spells. Oh, please don't kill him. Spark level 1. Oh, against three of them, he might survive. Okay. Oof. He survived fairly decently, actually. Collect what's in this barrel. Nothing. It must be that last barrel has something in it, I'm guessing. Is this guy the boss? He is. Oh. Ah, crap. Oh good, I don't think they can reach Gracia yet. They pack a punch though. Good damage. 
right, let's use Aura. Please get everyone back to good health. Ah, that's good. Oh, you bastard. New Game Plus sounds pretty awesome, actually. Uh, I've got to use Don Horde to get that last barrel. to Kate. Original hardware. Don't make fun of my clickbait titles, Gamera. If you can really call it clickbait. I don't think original hardware really gets people's butts off seats. Oh, power one. That was a good item. Good advice. Let's just hope everyone can survive it. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. But he can't reach Gracia, he can. Shit. Oh. Alright. We're doing this battle again. <laughs> Boomer games. Is the is the Polymega essentially a boomer box? When you think about it? Alright. Let's try that again. Oh, do I get to keep the power wine? I do. Perfect. Alright, this battle's gonna be considerably easier now. That I don't have to go for that barrel. Speaking of boomer boxes, did you did you end up getting your um, Mister Gamera? Also, I can't remember if I said, but thank you for tuning in. I think this might be the first time uh, you've watched. Oh no, you watched a bit of Shining Force Three previously too, didn't you? It's a very good game. This time, if I go, if I go here, I can. I'm gonna throw a knife at him. Call that a knife. And if I move forward here, we can probably draw some of them out a bit. It sucks because those uh, snipers do pretty high damage actually. They do more than the knights do, it seems. Big counter punch from Gracia. Actually, Gamera, do you know what he just said in Japanese? I don't know if you heard it clearly, but Lao says the same thing in uh, Virtual Fighter 2, but I'm not sure what it is or what it means. I feel like I could probably ask Mike and he would know, but... Actually, he wouldn't know, but he'd probably have it... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah no worries, no rush. Oh, wait, you're playing PSO 2? 
Nice, what class are you using? Are you using a, a Hurrah or a... a oh God, what else was there? An El May? I have no idea what I'm talking about. Summoner. Oh, cool. Magic user, hey? You're playing the Japanese version, I take it? Pet class? That actually sounds pretty cool. Do you get to collect monsters? Like, if you defeat one, does it join your, um... Does it join your team, like, your party? Or you can use that as a summon? Oh, that's really cool. Um, hope, hope you're enjoying it anyway. Hmm, that's pretty cool. The collectability must be pretty cool, actually, that you can collect um, monsters to use. In fact, in Scenario 2 of this game, one of your characters is a Beast Tamer. So when you defeat monsters, they can join your party. Oh, that monk is dead. Gracia is really good at countering. Yawa Romero over here. Counter puncher. Good level up too. A lot of stat increases. But yeah, in uh, Scenario 2 you've got a character who's a beast tamer. And uh, you can collect the monsters that you fight. Oh, this scenario has a dragon tamer? That's awesome. We get dragons on our team? That'd be great. Now I've got to keep these three together so I can get an aura healing spell on all three of them. Because that did a decent amount of damage. Alright, we'll take out the Pegasus. Don't know if you heard it that time. Yoringua Taringua or something similar. Oh, I remember Thousand. I remember him, vaguely. Oh, he drops a Freeze Orb. That's pretty good. Oh, no! Oh, my God! These snipers. Sorry, guys. We're going to have to run it back. This is like the most I've died in a Shining Force 3 battle. I feel like I'd be okay if it wasn't for those snipers. <laughs> that sounds pretty funny actually. I think we still can take this guy out, like I did last time. Maybe it's better to use Don Horde and Kate up front to draw out the snipers. I can't reach that guy just yet, okay. Inadvertently leveling the characters up a little bit as well. Oh, big damage. 
Dawnhold hits really hard. I mean, most of the Centaurs do at the start of the games, but uh, he seems very powerful for this scenario. Yeah, you know what? I'll attack the Pegasus first. Because I think he's faster. He'll attack. He'll get the turn before the, the guy on foot does. See if we can get Kate leveled up. Not quite yet. Don't want to leave her on her own either because if she gets hit with a spark by herself, it'll probably kill her. I need to spread the damage across a few people. Alright, this should do. Not even kill him. Yeah, it's gonna kill him. Perfect. What a unit. There we go. We got a shot off on the Masked Monk. Ice Arrow? No. In the first game, you, you'll probably remember this Shining Force 3. Um, in the first scenario, you could always tell if they were going to do a special move because if the camera panned in a circle, it meant they were going to do a special. Whereas it looks like in scenario 2 and 3, they have more animations anyway, so you, they might do um, the camera pan just for regular attacks. There we go. Afterburner, that'll do the trick. That reminds me, does Julian have the spark spell yet? I should check that. Uh, yeah, you can in this. In this, you can. It, I don't think you can change it in a battle, though. Can you? Wait, are you serious? Wait, what button? I pressed X. Oh wait! Maybe X is changing the... That's crazy. I did not know that. I'll have to try it out because I don't think I got it to work entirely, but... Yeah, X seemed to do something. Oh, come on, you can't reach him! Actually, is there any way to even climb up that? There's not. Okay. Okay, at least we can draw these guys out. Alright, I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna press X. No, it's not doing anything. Magic might be fixed. Oh, it's a Bullseye Elf. That's a new enemy name. I think they're just the same as a Sniper Wolf though, isn't it? Like the same... 
model. Okay, if we can take out one of those snipers, we should be safe. And I think this will probably finish him. Yeah, definitely with a cross break. There you go, that was X. Oh, yeah, you're right. Look at that, you can change. I had no idea you could do that. Is that in every scenario? That's crazy. Oh, he's got no magic points left. Alright, let's... Let's get him. Let's get him, fellas. Yeah, X, Y, and Z, you can change the camera angles, it looks like. Oh, and now he attacks Don Hort. Every other time, they go straight for bloody, um, Gracia. Yeah, that's good to know. I might try it in one of the earlier scenarios next time I play. Since we thought your force was weak, we underestimated you. High, ple High Priest Kalith, please forgive. If we can defeat them piecemeal. Is there anything in these boxes? I don't think so. Alright, let's get to town. Town's pretty. I mean, I suppose it would be pretty dense. It is Destonia, the capital of the empire. All right. Another reason why I want to try and force game about the War of Independence. You need to get to explore Destonia. Ah, oh, yeah. That would be interesting. Being able to see the castle. Oh, whoops, that was a mistake. But, I was going to point out, when I get in there again, there's a really nice little um, animation for the window. Look at that, with the curtain blowing. That's cool. Well, the Empire's gearing up for some kind of war. Some extra gold. What is this? A big steam... Oh, it must be the factory. Making armor plating. Alright, let's check out what's in here. Oh, really? I always thought Majorum was meant to be quite... 
um, competent. I suppose we'll see. Area between harbour and shipyard, habit about nothing but the poor, it's called a harem. Harem? Oh, well. Median's mother's somewhere near her. Oh, her house is. Yes, I am. Angel wing. I'll give that to someone else. Because... Julian can kind of do it with magic anyway. Ah, come on. Whoa! Middle-aged man playing hide-and-seek. <laughs> this town is very cool. What is this? Oh, it's just like a cart. Okay. Oh, that's a sword. That must be the weapon shop. And let me just take care of something. I'll be back in just a second.
Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Even in quarantine, I feel like the weekends end up being so busy. It's nice to be able to play a bit of Sega Saturn in the afternoon. That middle-aged man is back. In the game, I mean, not not IRL. I suppose I could be the middle-aged man, couldn't I? I don't know if I qualify as middle-aged yet. What's this guy got to say? <laughs> Interesting. What do you got for me? See what do you got? Steel knife, that'll be handy for Julian. I'm not gonna equip it straight away, but it's better than the knife I've got. Uh, battle blade I've already got. Heavy halberd, I think he's already got that. Yes he does. Oh, this is what we need. Better arrow. Oh no, need more gold. Alright, I'd have to sell some stuff. Wait. Oh my god. I bought the same knife again. I thought I had a worse knife. Alright. Can... Oh, you know what I should do? I'll just sell her other arrow now. Perfect. No. But I will buy the Robin arrow. Oh, I thought I had enough. Damn it. Alright. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll find some more gold. Some propaganda within the Empire, obviously. Small mithril. There you go. Could sell the small mithril, but I think that would be unwise. Who are these two? Father Scholar would like to meet me. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, I, mm, that's right. I vaguely remember. I think you get extra party members in there or something, don't you? I do remember now. There's a reason for um for that extra room. Yeah, that's where the dragons are or something, or machinery. I can't remember exactly now. Uh, not just yet. Okay. I'll dump the mithril. I'll give you that. And that's all I really need to give him. Yeah, I might go have a look at that off stream actually. Because the encyclopedia would be pretty cool. Just to check out all the different characters we've met or have yet to meet. I mean, there's a lot of characters in this game too, so there's a lot to keep track of. I'll talk to this lady, hang on. Surprised you the town of Liberator, happy storefront. Princess Isabella. We haven't come across her yet, there's one character for the encyclopedia. Yes. Ok, 
Okay, so the resistance has popped up while the invasion's going on. Interesting. Oh yes, free drinks. One of the monks is into drag. Oh, that's funny. I love um, the little details they do. Like, if you look at that, or like the chilies or the... Whatever they are hanging from the ceiling. Like, look at that. They're only like a couple of pixels each, but... Adds so much flavour to this game. Wonderful attention to detail, really. Bullzo monks are a worry. I want to find find some gold in here that I can nick so I can get that arrow. I will learn something. Status and gold. By knocking down others, position is born. Status will then give rise to income. This is success. Hmm. Those books contain a lot of knowledge. Is that the girl that had the makeup stolen? Oh, there's a girl next door. She looks like a unique model as well. Is she a character? Oh no. Just one of the maids. Yes! Alright, now I can afford that Robin Arrow. Sure is. This is a very harsh town. A shameful time. It was shameful. Couldn't drink, couldn't dance. Right, what building is this? Item shop? Alright, before I do anything else, let's get Kate and Arrow so I don't end up in battle with nothing. Like I did with Bernard in the last scenario, if you remember. There was that one battle when he had no weapon. And he was just kind of standing around healing people with... Uh... Oh wait, not self. Healing people with healing drops and the like. Yes. Oh. No, we're all good. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I can't remember how it happened too, I think... I was meant to give him some other weapon or something and I forgot to buy it at the last minute. How embarrassing. Let's see if there's anything in the item shop. I probably won't buy anything, but I can check it out. Let's see what she's got. Oh, she's got some braces and stuff. Can't afford them, but... That might be useful later. Yeah, that's right, I forgot to buy it. I found some more gold. Let's see if she's got anything to say. Haggle? Do you just have to keep talking in terms of buying sign? I don't know. I won't spend too much time on it because I don't have much money anyway. Instead of rescuing Dystonia, the Imperial Army returned to defend the castle. During the Panic of the Siege, we were able to save many lives thanks to Father Scholar's guidance. Okay, he might be part of the resistance. Seems like he probably is, in fact. in here. Nostalgic picture book. Indulge reading for a while.
Heh. <laughs> Back to work, buddy. Essential services, come on. Let's see, what's in here? Oh, this dude's asleep. Is he drunk? Well, you're not going to say the town's being liberated, are you? No, not yet. Never time until the castle is occupied. <laughs> oh well. Do what you can, I suppose. Is it, uh... Is it worth trying to get? Oh! Antidote herb. Oh, that's useful. Alright, should we go inside this factory? It seems pretty important. Oh, actually, the factory... Yeah, I've nearly explored every other building, so I'll do that first. Any boxes or anything around here? Ah, oh, there's a treasure chest. I got the gateway map. Excellent. Be able to raid some ruins. Shining Force 3 Tomb Raider. Oh wow, that's pretty dark. Oh, so Median's grandparents are here. Mass production equals large sales. Governor Garvin's. Oh wow, three treasure chests. Oh, yeah. One of my daughter Melinda and grandson Medina and well, Melinda was taken by the Emperor. Medina used to visit once in a great while, but Melinda has never returned. Goddess tier, that's useful. I'll give that to Grace here. Oh, well that's good to know. Goddess tier is actually sort of useful. Health bread. And fairy powder. Oh crap. Alright. Uh, nah. uh, uh, you know what? I'll drop the antidote herb. Because the fairy powder is just a better antidote herb anyway. Who should I use the health bread on? I'm guessing Julian. Max hit points. Well, maybe Gracia, actually. I feel like who's got the lower defense? Yeah, Gracia. I'll buff Gracia a little bit. There we go. Cool. And that's the inn where I've already been. Let's go into the church. That is a very fancy church. Oh, that's Father Scholar. Looks very old. This church is incredible too. Look at it. It's like a cathedral. Returned as promised. Wait, I can go to the factory after? Oh good. No, I trust him.
Ah, so who was the third of those three? This guy's a revolutionary. Received information that the Empire is plotting against you and plan to take the Staff of Besson. It's an elite force known as the Rainbloods. Oh shit! You've already fought them in Elbersum? Then you know how dangerous it would be to march on Dystonia Castle, right? Yes. Could be a freeze. I'm gonna leave it for a second. Because last time something like this happened, it just took a while. If not, I'll just replay it and come back to it. I don't think I've lost too much progress. It was just what, one battle? Tell you what, let me take a break for a minute and let's see if it fixes. If not, I might have to do some catching up. Uh, bear with me guys, I'll be back in a moment. Yeah, I think it might be frozen, guys. Let me try a soft reset with the controller. Oh, that worked. At least I didn't do it during a save. That's always a bit more scary. You can't save until after the story event. That's okay. Hopefully it's just a one-off. It's happened before, sometimes. It might just be a case of, um, you know, using the, the patched, patched version of the game. Because it's happened before as well, I'm pretty sure, where I've talked to someone or read a sign or something and it's, it's had some trouble, some glitching. It is a fan translation after all, so it's not ideal. It does run very good though, I mean, for a fan translation, like a, a fan patch I should say, it's got very few problems. Alright, let's go back to Flagship Church. Alright. 
Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'll get all the items and then I'll save on the on the on the ship. Now, is it just me or is it a little bit confusing that the ship this time is called flagship? Um And yet, the Seagate was a flagship. Oh, here we go. I don't want to miss that. Ah, no. Collect the thing. Bright honey. Uh, I'll just use that straight away. Yeah, I was going to say it was the flagship, executor, and the seagate. But they said the seagate was a flagship, wasn't it? Or was it the executor was the flagship? And now they've got a, a ship that actually is named flagship. Which is a bit confusing. And I don't think there was anything in here, was there? Maybe there was some mithril? No, I think we're okay. It certainly does, doesn't it? Which is pretty cool, it's like a repeating theme. The flagship flagship. Alright. There's nothing else on the ship. So let's go, we've got to do this battle again, unfortunately. Ah, oh, don't you hate little glitches? Another layer of clothing, it's getting cold. Oh really? So you get um you get a freeze up as well. Do you know what causes it? It'd be useful to know so I can avoid it. And yeah, if I get when I get to that point, let me know so I can save continuously. I remember the first time I played the translation, I had an issue with Scenario 2. I can't, I can't remember exactly where it was, but there was somewhere that um, had some issue as well, where it would continually crash. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's good to know. Thank you. Oh, and now I know where the wine is, I can just go straight there and get it. Yeah, please do. Huh, straight for grace here. Before I kill him though. Yeah, double palm. It's Kung Fu. It's 
So what games are you playing at the moment? I think you told me you're playing all the 2004 stuff. How's um, Vampire? The Masquerade going? Collect power wine. Oh, that sounds awesome. Oh, wait, she can reach him. There we go. There's a couple of um, Vampire the Masquerade games, isn't there? But I think Bloodlines is considered the best one from memory. Do you think it's going to bump off um, one of the existing games on your top three? Yeah, I was going to say, I, I thought it was Bloodlines was considered the best one. It's pretty crazy that um, you got into Bloodlines and, um, and Mafia. And they're both getting sequels this year. Or like, one's getting a sequel, one's getting a, a remake. We need you to, to discover some more old games so they can get sequels too. Gracia more than I thought it would. Alright, let's equip the blade. Yeah! We'll finally get the, the sequel to Warcraft. What can we do to this guy? He's got an attack bonus against him. Pretty good damage. Straight for Gracia. Finish him off. Kate survive this? I think she can. Oh wow, it did nowhere near as much as I thought it would. Alright, let's use a healing drop on Gracia. This is pretty low. Perfect. Alright, now let's heme this guy. Big damage. Yeah, Don Holt's got a lot better physical defense, it looks like, than the other characters. Which would make sense. He is a knight. Alright, let's finish him off. Um, favorite game of all time? I don't know. I don't really have one. 
because there's a lot of games that I really love um, and that I consider like pretty much flawless if I had to decide oh, I don't know like this these three games Shining Force 3 would be considered one of my favorite games of all time but so is Age of Empires 2 so is Shenmue 1 and 2 so is Virtual Fighter um, Crazy Taxi like I think they're all like I can't find fault with them but I like them all in different ways so it's hard for me to say, like, you know, a favourite of all time. If I really had to... I don't know. No, I can't. I can't really choose. Alright, we're back here. Now, where was all the stuff I needed to collect? I used to I used to do that like I used to try and think like have a definitive list but it's I don't know like it's too hard I can't like I can't say Shining Force 3 for example is a better game than Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown because they're so different and I think they're both outstanding in their own ways like uh, you know like Virtual Fighter 5 has you know, infinite replay value when you're playing against you know someone else who's good at the game um, but in terms of like you know the the storyline this of course has a real storyline whereas it's pretty much not eating mushrooms disgusting um, you know or even like Age of Empires for example like I could play that game almost infinitely in terms of how well the the gameplay is designed and how well the civilizations are all designed it's pretty tough to call the music and the graphics in Age of Empires 2 are fantastic as well and yeah I, I can understand this game is really fantastic like I said this would be one of my favorite one of my all-time favorite games I'm gonna buff up Don Hort again uh, let me see what can I get here. But yeah, this game is phenomenal. Like this is just such a good such such a good RPG. I really can't find any fault with it. Oh, we don't have enough. What can I sell? Now I've got enough. Perfect. Decay and equip it. Yes. I don't think there's anything else here, but I'll just check. Alright. So that's not too bad. Like, the crash didn't actually set us back too much time, fortunately. There was nothing in the headquarters, I think, but I can drop off some stuff. Oh, thank you. That's useful advice. I'll hang on to that. Okay. Gotta go find the mithril somewhere now. And I'll go to the factory first before trying to do the story. Pan's Dragoon Shaga, show me one or two of the games that had the most impact on my life. Um Yeah, I think they're very worthy choices. They're fantastic games. All three of them pretty much would be on my list as well. Hey, I'm gonna go 
go turn the light on. One second. Yeah, I was going to say, like, oh, in terms of, like, Sega's peak, I find it really hard. As much as I love those games, like, I also think, like, the original Sonic the Hedgehog, for example, is, like, Sega, is, like, peak Sega. Something like Jet Set Radio is amazing. Virtual Fighter, 1 and 2 even. Like, all the Virtual Fighter games, really, are just, like, peak Sega. They've had so many amazing... And that's, see, that's the thing, it's like you said, they scream Sega to you. Um, they do to me as well. And I think, to Sega's credit, they have... Like, they've had so many hits and so many amazing games across such a wide variety of games. Like, you can go from something like Shenmue, which is, you know, such a realistic, um, grounded, grounded game. And then you can go to Jet Set Radio, which is so bizarre and out there even do something like you know an arcade hit like virtual fighter or daytona usa compare that with something like panzer dragoon saga which is a huge sprawling rpg such a wide wide bench of games it's so good i haven't been to the item shop yet and i believe she has an item for me or at least some gold I can't remember, did you get a chance to, um... Did you get a chance to tune in the other day and watch some Virtual Fighter? I can't remember if you were there or not. Apologies. Yeah, Sega and Nintendo are definitely very strong. I think Cap... Actually, I will say, I think Capcom has some really awesome IPs as well. Like uh, Resident Evil and Mega Man and Street Fighter, Dark Stalkers, they got some good stuff. That's right, yes we did! Yes, yes, yes. Thanks for reminding me. We did talk about Mafia for a little bit. Now I'm going to go to the factory first, then I'm going to save the game, and then we'll go and speak to this Father Scholar. How do I get into the factory? There we go. Yeah, Konami's up there too, hey? What do they have? Castlevania, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, look at this place. This is very high-tech for this era. Got the Industrial Revolution happening. Who's this old man? Ha! Huh! Forgot to release the Imperial troops. Are they making tanks or something here too? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, that's great. I love these little animations. They're so good. Good luck, boys. Oh, yeah, I want to play that too. I haven't played Rocket Knight before. Well, they're brave, if nothing else, those soldiers. Oh, it's more mithril. Perfect. Oh, no, it's not a tank, it's a tractor or a bulldozer, sorry. What's this guy got to say? Nothing of consequence.
Alright. Oh, I've got to still go to um, ah, Melinda's house as well. Oh, Swift Boots. Nice. Okay. Let's give them to someone. Oh, really? That's interesting. I love how everyone, like, all the little things make such a, um, such a difference in this game. What are they? Agility. Okay. I'll give it to Gracia. A thousand? Oh, I'll give him a thousand when I get him. Okay. Alright. And how much mithril do I have? Just the one. I feel like there's a second one around somewhere. Alright, let's collect all the stuff from here and the map. I need to get the map as well. And then I'll save the game and then we'll see if we can get past that story. I don't know why I'm talking to them again. I just like I know I've spoken to them before. But I've got the urge to speak to everyone in town. Alright, let's use that straight away. Oh damn, it increased it by three last time. Curse you, crash. Oh yeah? Alright, I'll keep them for a thousand if he's that slow. Oh, I didn't notice. The chimneys moved to the rhythm of, this, of the song. That's cool. Alright. Now I think I've explored everything. I'm going to go save the game. Then I might even call it a night. Give you this mithril. That's all I really need to drop off. Alright. On the way to the church, let me just run an ad because I'm just going to be running backwards, so I'll be back in one minute. I've got to remember where the church is. Here it is. Uh, uh, hang on a second. Dude. Is there meant to be no one here? Uh oh. So I'm guessing that means I just have to go to the... I have to try and do the storyline. Okay, let's hope it works. Alright, cross your fingers. If it crashes again, what am I going to do? I'll have to see if there's like a... if it's a known problem. Alright, let's go.
Oh, fingers crossed. It could just be a one-off. I've had that happen before in this game. Um, like even in Scenario 1, the first time I tried to go into the Trial of Heroes, it crashed when I read the sign. And then it never did it again after that, so... It could have just been a one-off. Sometimes the data just reads incorrectly or something. Because it's a burnt it's a burnt CD, right? It's a patched game, so. So it's gonna go over again. How he's the leader of the resistance. He wants to re what do you call it? Um, reform the the Empire. The Rainbloods are at the castle. And we're going to go there anyway. Yes. Rainbloods are suffered because of the stuff. Besson. Huh? We're going to go anyway. Sorry. Cross your fingers. Whew. May I still go with the Julian army as promised? Oh, that's the princess. Did it! It worked! It didn't freeze! How can you allow it, Father Scholar? How can you allow the princess to go to such a dangerous place? I can't agree. Where's Princess of Belly here? Yes, I know. Thank goodness indeed. Okay, well here's another healer and a magician it looks like. Or wizard and cleric. It appears Princess Isabella should set it to us. Uh, uh, sorry, made a meal of that. Priest, you're not thinking of making us the princess's babysitters, are you? Could use some more healers, that wouldn't hurt. Yes. Coming out, Linda. Before the castle is taken, I'll come to your aid. Excellent. Power rank? Oh, okay. Maybe that's for one of the, these characters, I'm guessing. So we've got a bit of time. Can he... Can he save the game for me if I go speak to him? Oh yes he can. Let's save straight away. Oh, As long as it saves for us we should be okay. That was a, uh, that was a bad experience with the crash but we got through it. As long as it saves okay. There we go. We continue now, you know what? I might call it a night. That was good. That was really good. Um, depending on what happens. Yeah, I know, right? How tense. Depending on what happens this evening, I might play some more of it even if I can't I might even be live a bit later tonight I'll see how I feel if I want to stream some more but um yeah if not I'll be back what's oh, tomorrow's Monday I'll, I'll probably play it tomorrow as well uh yeah I'll play some more tomorrow night 
And then Thursday I'll probably be back with some Virtual Fighter again. Um, I'm also playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which is really fun. But it's not really a good streaming game. But once I finish some of the career mode on that, maybe I'll start uh, Mafia as well. But thanks again for tuning in, Shining Force 3. I really appreciate it. It's always a good time playing this game. Um, I'm going to catch you later, man. Enjoy whatever's left of your weekend. And I will see you uh, next time I stream, I guess. Next time you can tune in. Take care. Oh, I'm a bit high. All right. See you later, guys.